Hey kiddos, welcome to this week's homework, which is looking at dividing by the number two, as well as the number five and 10. So let's go ahead and dive right in and see where we are. I'm sorry, this is two and 10, just two and 10. So we are looking at our pictures to see if we can write what the division strategy is. Now we are again, dividing by two. So when it's asking for how many are in a group, we're looking for two. So I see that I have two groups and how many are in each group? One, two, three, four, five. And if I have five here and five here, that means 10 total. So 10 divided by two equals five. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six in each. Six and six is 12. There are two groups. Each group has six. So 12 divided by two is six. All right, this time we have two, four, six, eight. Eight divided by two is four. Eight divided by two is four. This time we have six here and six here. So we have 12 divided into two. Each group has six. Here we have five and five, so our total is 10. They're divided into two groups. Each group has five. 10 divided by two is five. Here we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 here and 12 here, so my total is 24. There's two groups, 24 divided by two gives me 12. Remember, we can use what we know about our multiplication to check these because they are reciprocal. So if I think of it as backwards, five times two is 10. 12 times two is 24. I can check these six times two is 12. Four times two is eight. Six times two is 12. Five times two is 10. I can check them because they are reciprocals, just like I can use adding and subtracting to check them. This is the end of page one. If you are ready for page two, hang tight. If not, please go ahead and stop here. All right, love bugs, page two, we're still dividing by two, but this time we took away the visual and we're reminding ourselves that multiplication and divisions are besties. We can use multiplication to find the missing piece. So if I'm wondering the answer to four divided by two, I can talk about this as two times the mystery number gives me four. Two times two is four, which means four divided by two is two. Over to here, 14 divided by two is seven. And two times seven is 14. Look at these fact families we're making here. 16 divided by two is eight. And two times eight is 16. 12 divided by two, maybe I don't know, but I can think of it as two times what is 12? Two times six is 12, which means that 12 divided by two is six. 20 divided by two, this is a big one, is 10. I can check it because two times 10 is 20. 18 divided by two is nine because two times nine is 18. That is the end of this page. If you have any questions, bring them with you to class. Otherwise, if you're ready for your next page, hang tight, because here it comes. Now we are dividing by 10, which can seem big and scary, but we know how to use our tens, right? We talked about math magic and how to multiply by 10. We're gonna use that same skill when we're dividing by 10. And a lot of these, you're probably gonna use your multiplication magic, right? Because maybe I don't know 40 divided by 10, but I know 10 times four is 40 which means that four is my missing piece. I can also think how many tens does it take to make 40? And I can count up 10, 20, 30, 40. If I do that, I needed four tens, which is also my missing number. 80 divided by 10 is eight because 10 times eight is 80. 70 divided by, set, uh, by 10 is seven because seven times 10 is 70. 50 divided by 10 is five because five times 10 is 50. 20 divided by 10 is two, because two times 10 is 20. 60 divided by 10 is six, because 10 times six is 60. That's the end of this page. If you have any questions, bring them to class. If you're ready for our final page, hang tight. 
because here they go. This last page is looking at dividing by two and 10. So be careful. Ask yourself, which one am I solving? So 20 divided by two, I might not know, but I can think of it as multiplication. Two times 10 is 20. I could also think if I skip count by twos, how many twos do I need? I would need 10. 20 divided by two is 10. 40 divided by 10 is four because four times 10 is 40. Fact families for the win. 10 divided by 10, be careful is one because 10 times one is 10. It's like a mirror. 40 divided or 14 divided by two is seven because two times seven is 14. 18 divided by two is nine because two times nine is 18. And 30 divided by 10 is three because three times 10 is 30. If you have any questions, please bring them with you to class. Otherwise, this is the end of our homework for this week. I will see you guys next week. Have a great weekend.